Hey guys, Molly Pop Girl here from WeTheGamers.com, bringing you the MLB 2K12's demo. Uh, since it's coming out tomorrow, March 5th, or 6th, sorry, uh, I thought it would be good for you all to see what the demo has to offer. So I'm going to play through the demo. Um, it's pretty, pretty similar to 2K11, if you've played that. There are a couple subtle differences, and the one issue with sports demos um, is you don't get to see all the other features. You know, you don't get to utilize the um, create a player, the management, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, you don't get to play the online. So it's kind of hard to gauge exactly what 2K12 is going to bring. Um, as you can see, the graphics look pretty similar to 2K11, but um, there are a couple interesting additions, at least that are evident to me in the demo. So as they come up, I'll explain those to you. And yes, I chose the um, I chose Texas Texas Rangers. Um, so as you can see, power swing, the contact swing, as well as the defensive swing are all back and Basically, it's all the same uh, controls, the same setup. I do, I promise, I do get better throughout the demo. I do make some, I do actually get a hit. I promise. I think I... In this one, I, I just I like the power swing. That's just I have the timing down. That's just it's kind of like motor memory or muscle memory, um, as far just from playing 2K10, 2K11. So I've, um, at least I thought I had had it timed properly. But uh, if you haven't played the baseball games, at least for me in a while, you don't. You kind of have to. You have to have like a game or two to to time the the swing right um, so that's what I was doing with the power swing uh, that's just my favorite swing because it gives you power so like I was saying before um, the graphics look very similar to 2k11 um, it does look like it's a little smoother. I mean, granted, this is the demo, and I know that 2K has had some problems with the game freezing up. I know that happened to me a couple times, um, and there were a couple glitches here and there. But so far, it looks pretty smooth. There are a little, there are there are, there are a couple of lag situations, but um, I know in 2K11 that was pretty terrible. <laughs> but I think I think they ended up patching it, so that's good. My ultimate goal is to one day get the million dollar challenge. So you know, it's not that hard. From what I've gathered, basically, if you have played 2K10 and 2K11, this should feel very, um, very familiar to you. Um, there are a couple differences with the pitching and the fielding. Um, I stopped the demo. I didn't play the entire demo for you guys. I stopped it um, just because I, I thought you'd probably be bored. But um, there are a couple of differences, and, and I'll point them out so you all can see. Um, but there is a subtle difference with the pitching, uh, not the pitching mechanics per se, but the actual, um, I guess, the different pitches and stuff. Uh, and I'll explain that to you in a little while. Um, I know in, I think it was MLB The Show, like 06 or something, they used to drop the ball, like, people would make more mistakes, and I always hoped that that would happen. Right up the middle, um, I always hoped that that, that, that that happens whenever I hit a fly ball. I always hope that they drop it, but they never do, so I guess they're paying them 
I guess they're earning their money if they're not making mistakes. And for those of you who are wondering, uh, it's the St. Louis Cardinals uh, versus the Texas Rangers because that was the World Series matchup. And 2K, 2K Sports always does that for their, um, at least their MLB demos. Um, they always pick the uh, World Series matchup. I don't know why I swung at that. I I think at this point I was just kind of like, I just wanted to get to the pitching because I knew you all would be watching. I just care about you, that's all. But leading off is the same, uh, as you can see. Um, controlling the bases is the same, left trigger. The one thing that I always had trouble with in 2K11 and probably 2K10 uh, was having all the runners advance. I, I know that it's, um, I think you probably hold down left, uh, but I, I just wasn't sure how to utilize that and I just didn't want to look like a jackass on the, on the video, but I'm sure I've done that anyway. Um, the, I guess this the one thing that stinks about these demos, and I, I guess like they don't want to put too much, but like I said before, you know, my favorite part is the my player mode. Um, and so I kind of wanted to see what that was like. Uh, and I also like to see how the menus are, uh, see what, you know, the overall pr uh, presentation is for a game. And I feel like this is kind of just, uh, a modified version, which it is because it's a demo, but I just really like um, 2K's baseball game, so um, I was just kind of eager to... I figured why not just bunt. <laughs> I mean, he's a pitcher, whatever. But um, I was just eager to, to play. And so now you'll see uh, the pitching aspect of it. So it goes over, it's basically the total control pitching as it was before. Uh, I didn't, I, I kind of tried to look at the settings. I'm not sure if you can do the classic like you could in 2K11 and 2K10. Um, but as you can see, you know, uh, the power is there. And so as you can see, the um, the bar for fielding, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that's new. Uh, or Well, not new, but it's, it's a little bit... Um, I guess it just looks a little bit different. Uh, I think the zones are a little more defined, but I know that, there you go, that you want to get it in the green zone. Um, I think that was the only difference. And then you'll see, um, as, as you watch me pitch, if you look to the left here, you see that um, the numbers, I'm assuming, uh, are the or it, the, the numbers indicate the speed of the pitch and I think as your stamina goes down you'll see the numbers kind of go uh, I think they go red or they go dimmer and I think that shows that your stamina is low and so I think that it, they put that in there to kind of deter um, people from just throwing the same pitch over and over again because you know if even if you even if you're a professional athlete, if you throw the same pitch over and over again, you're going to get burnt out eventually. So uh, that's kind of interesting. So it kind of makes you utilize your repertoire uh, as a pitcher. Um, I didn't really notice a huge difference. And this is another thing right here. If you see the bar next to the outfielder, it, I'm not sure if that's to sprint or if that's to do the wall climb. The horrible wall climbing achievement which still haunts me to this day I have not been able to get it in 2k10 or 2k11 um, so I know that that was one of the things but I'm not sure if that was involved if that uh, bar for the outfielder was to indicate a sprint or not uh, I think that was in one of the earlier 2ks I think maybe 2k6 or before or maybe the couple after um, but if that's the case, that would be an interesting addition to the game. So I think I think you can see that was like 80 something before, and it's slowly starting to go down. And I think as you 
dwindle it down, I think the accuracy starts to uh, decrease. Don't worry, this is the last ending before <laughs> before you have to stop. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I guess if I had to review the demo, um, it's, it's not a whole lot to go off of. Um, so, you know, I can't say that it's going to be a great game. I mean, it's... If, if it's if it plays like this consistently then it's gonna be a good game but um, I'm more interested in like I said the my player mode and the management mode and um, playing online all that stuff so um, you know I hope that you know the additions that I've mentioned so far are kind of are kind of cool and um, make it kind of interesting. I think the sprint feature will really help. That was such an embarrassing... S I, as, I, I'm not going to lie, as I was recording that, I, I just thought to myself, great, I look like a complete jackass. Um, but I definitely redeemed myself here with Josh Hamilton. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm going to buy it. Oh my gosh, Josh Hamilton hitting a home run. That's so rare. Totally. Um, so I, I let you all watch me jog around the bases because I'm an asshole. Um, but anyways, yeah, I, th I think that it's going to be a good game. I'm a huge baseball fan. I mean, if you're a baseball fan, then you, you just buy this game. But, um, you know, it's got some interesting mechanics to it. If you're new to a baseball game, hopefully the, um, hopefully the old mechanics are still available like they were in previous 2K games. Um, so that's pretty much it. I, I'm going to get it. So I guess if you were on the fence or whatever, hopefully this demo, watching this demo kind of helped you grasp a better understanding of where they want to buy the game. Um, it's really hard to watch yourself play and commentate at the same time, I, I got to say. Um, but anyways, so I hope this was helpful to you all. Um, like I said before, uh, 2K Sports MLB 2K12 comes out tomorrow, March 6th, just in time for spring training. Woo woo! Um, so be sure to look, head over to wethegamers.com, check out our, we'll have a, our, a review up of this um, pretty shortly after the release date tomorrow. Um, also, if you are a baseball fan on our forums, we have a We The Gamers Baseball Fantasy League. So. If you want to get to know the community and, you know, just get completely annihilated by me, that's totally fine. Um, but, yeah, head over to We The Gamers, sign up on the forums, you know, join the community. We're really awesome. More than gaming, we've got geek stuff, tech stuff, just everything that you would need to just be a geek. Um, so, like I said, Molly Pop Girl from WeTheGamers.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.